What's up, guys? It's Nick here, and today I'm bringing you uh, my theory on the quantum entanglement device uh, and what it does. Obviously, you guys should know about it from the um, the news releases coming out about Moon, and what you see right here is a supposed picture of it. Um, it's not been officially confirmed that is the quantum entanglement device, but people are uh, assuming and theorizing that that is the device. So... To understand this, you have to understand the quantum theory, which, um, to my extent of my knowledge, knowledge uh, deals with parallel universes, uh, the theory that everything has an equal and opposite reaction. So anything you do uh, will react upon uh, another thing in the same way. Um, so... You know, it, it's kind of uh, confusing, but it does really fit well into zombies. And uh, this whole split universe thing has really never been discussed in zombies, but uh, now it kind of has to, uh, now that this device is existing. Um, so, the thing I want to talk about is called Schroeder's Cat, which you're seeing a picture of. It's a theory basically saying that you put a cat in a box and a flask full of um, some kind of poisonous material... And there you put a, uh, what's it called? Radiation detector. I can't think of the actual name. You put a radiation detector, and when that detector detects radiation, a hammer will drop and break that flask, killing the, co the cat. So what the theory states is that at the same time, the cat could be either alive or dead. We perceive it to only be one, though. So we can only see one end of it, and but... The cat is both alive and dead, because what happens when that event happens is it must react both ways. So, the, you know, the, the cat dies or the cat lives. We only see it as one, though. And what, what that ends up leading to is parallel universes. So it, it splits into two, and, you know, it reacts oppositely to each other. And this supposedly happens every minute of every moment of the day every choice that gets made. So, you know, what happens in zombies here is the universe splits when the 115 is put into the uh, the dogs or when they start experimenting with um, the humans making the zombies. And so the thing with these parallel universes also plays into the fact, well, how did they get to the moon? A lot of people have been theorizing that when the monkey on Solo takes your perk and goes on Shangri-La back behind the Pack-A-Punch, a rocket shoots up. So, you know, like, a monkey stealing your perk isn't going to be able to take all four of these characters to the moon. So one of the things that people are saying, are saying is that with this Ascension rocket, you know, what they do is, in one universe, they go and put themselves into this rocket uh, to get to the moon, and then they come back in time using the quantum entanglement device they merge these two parallel universes so right now there exists two sets of characters they merge these two universes using the quantum entanglement device which is what Richtofen was looking for with the the Vril device the golden rod and the the um the focusing stone this is what he built is he built the quantum entanglement device. So he uses this to create these two universes, puts them together, then uses, uh, you know, however they get to Ascension, and this is when we're playing it, when they get to Ascension, um, and they shoot the rocket up, and that's how they get to the moon. So, you know, that's the whole kind of uh, theory behind it, I, I'm it really it just sums it sounds very confusing and elaborate to me, but uh, you know when you think about it, it does kind of make sense to a degree um, that he builds this and then they come back and launch themselves in a rocket. Now, when you blow up the rocket and it drops a double points, that's a whole different um, ball game. And I think what that is is that's just an Easter egg that the dev team put in, and I think that that kind of should just be disregarded from uh, from the common lore. Um, and theory behind zombies. And then the question is, what does the quantum entanglement device do for gameplay? So I just discussed how it could fit into the story, but what does it do for gameplay? 
you know, when you read that interview, he says, throw it out there and see what it can do for you. And it's been mentioned before that it can actually hurt you. It's, it's a gamble using it. And I think that we will get more insight on how it fits into the gameplay uh, today. Uh, I'm going to render this video out and put it up. Uh, should be up within a half hour here. And um, today is Thursday the 11th, I believe. And it is 12 days before release. And the Shangri-La trailer came out 13 days before release. Uh, so I think we're looking at... Um, a trailer today since it is Thursday inside Xbox does do their stuff on Thursdays so I think we're gonna be looking at some kind of a video today um, on Shangri-La or I'm sorry on the moon it's probably gonna tell us uh, some of the gameplay stuff I'm sure we'll get some more stuff on the phaser zombie the aqua zombie was just shit put out there that you know it's disregarded um, but we'll get some more stuff here on the phaser zombie and how the zero gravity is going to work. I'm going to be doing a breakdown on that. But, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my kind of explanation on the quantum entanglement device. The whole theory of there being two split universes going on. Um, maybe one's even where all of this stuff never happened. And the project projects continue correctly. So, maybe in one, this one universe... Uh, the, the zombies outbreak and everything turns to shit. The four characters come in. But Richtofen knows this, so maybe he wants to use this quantum entanglement device to get up to the moon. Because maybe in another universe, the experiments continued fine. The Nazis ended up winning the war, ended up making a moon base. 935 has an output on the moon, out, outpost on the moon. And uh, maybe Richtofen knows this, and he merges these two universes together with the quantum entanglement. Because in the end, entanglement, um, you're entangling all of these different universes into one. And I think that, you know, it's really gotten um, really deep how they're going here. And this is the end of Zombies. Um, with this story, I do believe. Um, I think with Black Ops 2, you know, I'm sure they're going to make some new stuff. Uh still do zombies but I think this is the end of the story or they're just gonna really seal the deal for us in here because there's still a lot of un un unanswered questions black ops open them more and I think we may just end with a cutscene or whatever uh, at the end of moon at the end of the Easter egg which would be awesome uh, and then while we're in this video um, I'm gonna talk about something that I discovered the other day someone had posted this in a thread on CODs uh, on Shangri-La, if you have not done the Call of the Dead Easter Egg and you're Richtofen, you do not spawn with the Golden Rod. So, if you're Richtofen and you have only gotten the... Well, not, okay, so so if you're Richtofen and you only got the Call of the Dead solo achievement, if you haven't done the Call of the Dead Easter Egg in co-op, um, I think that in co-op, if you're Richtofen, you don't spawn with the Golden Rod. So I think what they may be actually doing is you're going to have to have the Call of the Dead achievements and probably the Shangri-La achievement um, to be able to do this moon easter egg. And it makes sense. So I want to put that out there. You know, If you guys have not done these easter eggs and you want to do the moon easter eggs, I strongly encourage you to go to CallofDutyZombies.com. There's people there looking for teams um, and you know, you need to get a team together and try and solve these Easter eggs. It's definitely something you guys need to look into. But uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for listening. I will upload the trailer analysis when and if it comes out, but it should come out today. So uh, thanks, guys.